Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video screencast. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do user management on your WordPress powered site. What this is going to allow you to do is to edit, manage and create new users to control who has access to your site, who can post things, who can edit things, who can contribute and who can administrate on your site. This is all very easy to do and you're going to find it on the left hand menu um, on this users button here. Click on that and you're going to see that you've got a list here of all of the users on your site. I've got two users, administrator and my theme shop, and I can also see their email address, their role and how many posts that they have. Now you've got a couple of different options here. If you want to access uh, creating a new user, you can press add new. If you want to edit a current user, you can hover over and either edit or delete. Note you can't delete your own user, which is why that doesn't show up for here with my theme shop. I'm going to add a new user and I can do that by pressing add new. This takes me to um, a page which allows me to enter the details for adding the new user. The first thing you need is a username. So here I'm just going to put in support and um, we'll go for support team at mythemeshop.com. You can leave a first or last name or you can just leave these blank and you can also enter a website here if you would like your user who is perhaps a contributor to another website to have a link in their profile. You can either choose a password here and show a password and enter your own. So for example, I could make this here um, just by entering my theme shop or you can hide this and then select a random password where a password reset link will be sent to your user on registration and they can use that to set their own password. This is a much more secure way of doing things and you might want to do this. You can make your users confirm the use of a weak password here if they're using an especially weak password um, and you can also set their role. Now you have a number of different options to choose from here. You can choose between subscriber, now this is for users who just want to be able to log in but can't post or access anything. Contributors who'll be able to suggest posts um, and complete their own posts but they'll have to be reviewed by an editor or an administrator before they can be published. You've got authors who are able to publish their own posts straight off got editors who are able to access other people's posts and administrators who are able to access everything to do with the site including changing your theme and creating and deleting other users. I'm going to have um, support team as an editor which will allow them to edit other people's posts as well as post their own posts. If I press add new user then that user is going to be created and we can see here on the user page here that we got support as an extra user has been created. We can see that their role here is editor. If you want to edit the details of a user that already exists, you can either access your own profile by clicking your profile on the left hand side or by hovering over your user from the user page. Here I'm just going to click on my user in order to access this. You're going to see that with your own profile you have a couple more options and you can choose some customizations that are just going to make it a little bit easier for you for managing the site. You can choose a color scheme um, just by selecting between the different ones here. I'm going to leave this on default. You can also uh, have keyboard shortcuts for comment moderation, which might make this a little bit faster for you. And if you want to see what the shortcuts are, you can use this link. You can show or hide the toolbar, as well as setting uh, your first or last name, a nickname, which we will display publicly. You can just choose between the drop down here for your first, last name and nickname. You get your email address, your website, as well as some biographical info if you'd like to add that. And on certain themes that's going to display publicly such as at the end of posts. You can also generate a new password and if you have multiple people logged in then you can log everyone else out. Once you're done you want to press update profile and you're going to see that WordPress has updated that for you. If we just head back to users we're going to see that it's exactly the same process for editing anyone else's profile. So if I wanted to edit this other administrator I'm going to see I have the same options available here and I can choose the colors and so on and so forth all the way down to the biographical info and the password. Once you're done making any changes you can press update as usual. If we head back to the user screen I can show you how to delete a user. If you want to remove a user who is perhaps not necessary for your site anymore and you can do so just by clicking on the user here and then selecting delete from the actions here or you can just hover over and press delete. If I click apply then that's going to um, delete the user and we can see that um, WordPress is going to give us the option to attribute the content the user has created to a different user or to delete that content. 
So I can either press this radio button here to delete all the content that the user has created, so that's including post pages, um, or I can select the drop down here to choose between the other available users to attribute the content the user has created to a different user and keep the content. I'm going to want to keep the content and you'll probably want to do the same. Once you're done, you can just press confirm deletion in order to confirm the user has been deleted. Now, just one more thing to show you, which is under settings and then general. Now, this is going to allow you to choose whether users can register themselves. You're going to see if you scroll down a little bit under membership, you've got this tick box here for allowing anyone to register. If this is ticked, it's going to allow any visitor to your website to register as a new user, and you can choose the role that they have here from this drop down. You can see we can choose again from subscriber, contributor, author, editor, and administrator. But it's worth noting you probably only want to have this set to subscriber because otherwise anyone who registers for your website will be able to be accessed as an administrator or whatever other user profile role you have set. So you probably want to have that set to subscriber if you want that on at all. You might want to have a link to your site for the registration page, which is your site's URL forward slash wp-login.php and WordPress will then prompt users either to register or log in from there. So if you have this ticked, um, you can have users registering themselves, but just be wary if anyone can register as an administrator or as an author, um, then they will be able to create and edit content according to their role, um, which you may not want. Probably want that to have to set to subscriber. Once you're done, you want to go to press save changes and that concludes our quick look around user management in WordPress. So you can access everything under users using this menu here. You can see you've got the usernames as well as the roles and the number of posts. You can create new users by pressing add new and you can edit users either by pressing edit here or if it's your own user, you can just press your profile here in order to access that. We're also actually gonna find it from this drop down on the top right. You can see you can press edit my profile here. If you are going to allow new users to register, you can find that under settings and then general. So that's just a quick introduction to user management with WordPress. I hope this video has been helpful and thank you very much for watching. Thank you.